yourself and welcome to my productive day in the life. <laughs> thing I like to do is to kind of half make my bed but then do my morning meditation and gratitude journal from bed because it's the comfiest spot in the whole studio flat. I find that doing my meditation and gratitude journal early just frames my mindset and it just puts me in such a good mood and a mood of abundance and gratitude. Let's do it. Now whatever we choose to call it, whether it's kindness, compassion, we're talking about a, an innate quality Hi, and welcome back. Now for some people, these different layers of noting can be an additional cause of anxiety. After writing in my gratitude journal, I'm going to get a little workout in. Today, I'm gonna to go for a bit more of a gentle exercise. So let's change into some workout gear now. I'm not sure what's going on with my very nice, like a little dancing. All ready, and let's get in a little workout. I feel amazing <laughs> and now I'm gonna go and get in the shower look a little bit more presentable then I'm gonna make some breakfast and then get started with emails and tackling through like video planning admin stuff and then I'll move on to like the filming editing part of the day now I'm going to do my morning skincare routine so I've got some toner eye cream and serum and moisturiser. I've already cleansed my face in the shower. I'm now sat down with my porridge and also my coffee mm -mm -mm. and now i'm gonna spend the next hour hour and a half maybe just going through emails going through some video plans for the next few weeks i've got a bunch of voice notes to catch up on as well including one with kelly about um, an edit that we still need to go through and in case you're new here hello i'm shu and i make videos about my life living alone in london as well as food fashion, lifestyle and future travel videos and I'm also a freelance videographer, editor, presenter and writer as well as managing YouTube uh, full time. Take a bite first and also look at my new spoon. Oh, oh, oh. So comforting. Quickly, so the courier has just arrived. All of our start to the working day, is it? Okay, I'm just gonna go collect it. Hi, Ellie, thank you so much. Oh, that's so exciting. Put it all set in the fridge. Oh my goodness, Capital Region US. We got stairs and I can show you exactly what it looks like. Ooh, so tonight's going to be a taste of the Capital Region USA and I've got an interactive hour with an event with Maryland, Virginia and Washington DC. So we're going to be making a DC cocktail called the Gin Ricky and then in this basket we have three live lobsters, an oyster shucking life, scallop vinegar, Maryland blue crab freshly steamed this morning. Make way, make way, we have a seafood feast. To in the fridge. I'm so excited. Oysters are my all time favorite seafood, and also I'm really bad at crab cracking, so I actually want to learn how to properly do it for future. And I love gin. So thank you so much to the team at Capital Region USA for sending over this basket. It's absolutely brightened up my week, and I cannot wait for 6 pm. But first of all, we've got a lot of work to do before then. So I've finished up some work, and now I'm going to get ready. And now I'm going to add a few like waves and curls just because I feel like it and I'm going to be filming a fashion styling reel over on my Instagram styling this black turtleneck in five different ways so if you don't already follow me on there and you'd like to have a look then head on over to Deja Shoe and Extra You at the end I'm just going to run this Kerastase hair oil through it for some extra shine and also because I just absolutely love this smell let's go and get some outfits I've just finished filming all five outfits now I am starving so I am going to try and make some miso glazed aubergine and maybe some bulgur wheat and quinoa let's get going and have some lunch because I am hungry I'm just going to move this table back <sighs> okay 
while I wait. I'm going to eat. Hi, bye, Jester. I'm currently watching Rain again on Netflix. Mm. This took me like 15, 20 minutes to make and it was super, super easy. I even had time to eat a digestive. Well done, Shu. Well done for this. I'm so happy with this meal. Mm, 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 mm. There we have it. One miso glazed aubergine, chili, garlic, quinoa, bulk wheat, and yummy juicy tomatoes. It's a little bit later now and I have just posted a picture on my Instagram um, showing an edit of some wonton noodles from Hong Kong which I miss a lot. It's so, so good. Let me know what your favourite... Actually, today's question of the day is what is your top three noodle soups? For me, it's wonton noodle soup, then it's pho and then it's ra ramen. But since I've posted it, people have like submitted such great ones that I've forgotten. So I'm like, mm, actually I can't pick a top three. There's laksa, there's also tom yum soup, uh, there's beef noodle soup, a Taiwanese style, so much. So let me know in the comments below what your top three noodle soup is. And I'd love to just drool over noodles because it's the absolute best. So now I've still got about 50 minutes until the event starts. I need to prep for that because I need to like prepare the basket. I'm also going to try and get an edit done for tomorrow. Then I'm gonna get started on this video. Then I'm gonna get started on Kelly's video for the second edit. I need to respond to a voice note, uh, go on the event later. And um, yeah, that's the thing. And I also need to pay my tax bill. So yeah, let's get going. I'm gonna charge my phone ready as well so it doesn't die halfway through the call. Can we just appreciate that I ironed my skirt today? Like if you know me, you know that ironing is not my strong suit. But today, I ironed the skirt and it was quite good. May I add, let me just plug you in. So I've got everything right in front of me. I've got my seafood platter, the crabs from Maryland, the blue crab, the oysters, the stuff for the gin, double dodge gin. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. So I might not be at the capital region of USA right now, but at least I get a little taste of it. So Maryland, Virginia, DC, <laughs> get a little taste of it tonight. And honestly, I've been counting down and I think the event is about to start. So I'll try and show little bits and bobs as I get going, but yay. <laughs> a competition every single year to be the gin ricky champion for the whole entire year and this is made up of the soda water the gin and the lime fresh lime juice is light bright refreshing and it goes perfectly with the seafood and i don't know about you but i've had a few sips and i think i should be in the running <laughs> for this championship this year i will taste it just to make sure just to make sure <sighs> yep yep i think i'm in the running this is so delicious very easy to drink, but I still need to shuck some oysters and uh, crack some crabs, so I'm about to do the oysters. Yeah. Do you know what? For the sake of the vlog, I'm just gonna taste some more oysters just to make sure that, you know, it is good for YouTube as well. And I've never actually had oysters with um, fresh horseradish before, so this is completely new to me. <sighs> Ooh, I feel like the horseradish actually brings out the flavor of the oysters even more. Like, of course we've got the shallot vinegar. So delicious, so tasty. But actually the horseradish just keeps its natural flavor even more, but enhances it some more. So uh, delicious. And then the next thing, which I've shown you already, is the crab. If you are 
to visit Maryland, Virginia and Washington DC, they actually do have a bunch of different like restaurants and workshops and interactive things that you can do to actually learn how to degree create this yourself. That was actually like my favorite part of the event was just learning how to do it myself because I feel like I have more of an appreciation for what I eat knowing that I did it myself and everything. Anyway, I'm rambling. I have the fresh crab that I cracked myself <laughs> and I also added some Old Bay seasoning. It helps to just enhance the flavor of the crab and just bring out the sweetness and give it that little bit of a kick. So I've already tried it for my Instagram stories, but I will try it again for YouTube. The things I do for you. <laughs> okay. This crab is so sweet. So beautiful with the Old Bay seasoning. I've just generously sprinkled on top. And if I do events like this, it gets me so emotional because it's like seeing back into what my life used to be before the pandemic and I watch back at my old videos and I'm like, I am just so grateful for the opportunity to do things like this. And again, I know that sounds so cheesy, but I would not be here if it wasn't for you watching. So thank you so much for making these events and these experiences happen. And you always do this little cheesy stuffy moments in my vlogs, but honestly, like you guys are gonna be, actually, do you know what? You guys are always in my gratitude journal every single night. Though I can't physically travel to show these places, it makes me so happy to be able to share these little experiences with you and a taste of what is to come so until we can travel again and until i can make my beautiful travel films again to show you then i hope uh, you will be able to enjoy virtually traveling with me but now i'm going to clear all of this up and then post some of these stories and pictures and stuff on my instagram of the seafood and then we're gonna wrap up for the day just like that i can't believe it is now about 1 a.m and i've completely tidied the flat now because there was a little bit of mess after the event and i realized i forgot to close up this video when i was doing so well today but i'm just about to remove my makeup and head to bed today is a way later night than i uh, have been going to sleep over the past few days um, but i'm gonna go and put on my calm app and put on a sleep meditation the one i love is drifting off of gratitude i have just finished editing my reel that i filmed today so if you haven't followed me on instagram already and you would like to see more styling things from me Cantonese reels and just behind the scenes and daily posts from me um, over on Instagram then feel free to follow me on there and if it's your first time on this channel then I hope you enjoyed this video consider subscribing for more videos like this as well I hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon or evening so far and I shall see you in the next one good night and good morning and good afternoon <laughs>